Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Fantastical and today I'm bringing you guys Top 5 Paint Jobs Episode 3. And this is actually going to be 5 colors that I came up with myself. So hopefully you guys can all use them to make your vehicles look a lot nicer as I did try my best to find some combinations that look really clean. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So coming in at the number 5 spot, we have a color that I call Tainted Blue. In order to make Tainted Blue, all you have to do is take a metallic beech wood brown base. And from there, you want to go ahead and add an ultra blue prolet and finish which is going to give your vehicle this really diverse brownish blue color and it almost looks like some type of blueberry chocolate i don't really know how to describe this color or relate it to something that well but that's one of the reasons i like it so much because it's definitely a color that stands out and i personally like how it looks some of you may not but if you guys don't like any of the paint jobs i'm showing you guys in this video then you can of course check out the playlist in the description containing tons and tons of different themed paint jobs that i have done Coming in at the number four spot, I have a color for all of you guys that I like to call exotic pink. Exotic pink is a mixture between a candy red base followed by an ultra blue pearlescent finish that just looks so vibrant in the sun. And for some reason, the blue pearlescent doesn't really show as blue, but instead it magnifies the intensity and shine of this car to the point where it looks completely pink. And not a lot of pink variants have been showcased in the community recently. So this is definitely a color I would check out and consider using. Alrighty, so here we are at the number three spot. This is moving along pretty quick. And because I know you guys like green so much, I came up with a mixture I'm calling Aesthetic Lights. In order to create Aesthetic Lights, you guys are gonna kick things off with a Spinac or Purple for both your primary and secondary, which is your base. And then you're gonna follow up those two with a Pearlescent Lime Green, which is gonna force the green to kind of stand out, which is a little bit tricky with purple because purple does stand out very well on its own. But this shade is just light enough to have a nice balance of the two, making for this really really incredible metallic purplish green color that just glows and just overall looks luxurious as a whole. number two and I'm sure you guys are super eager to find out what I've selected as one but in the number two spot we're gonna go with a really sensitive color I'm calling plasma so similar to aesthetic lights you guys are gonna start this one off with the spinnaker purple base which again it's that perfect balance of not too strong not too light purple it's just right and then when we add our pearlescent it's gonna enhance it so much we're gonna set a regular blue pearlescent and bam we have this super energetic plasma looking color that I personally just enjoy as a whole it was definitely tough deciding on this or the number one spot because they're both just so nice in general. Okay, well, we're not on Sesame Street, unfortunately, but this is the number one spot of top five paint jobs, which the number one spot is going to be Emerald Green. Emerald Green is a mixture, not a compound, but a mixture of sea green as your base and an ice white finish. The ice white finish is just a pearlescent, so just the sea green alone doesn't really look too appealing in my opinion, but if we add the ice white to it, it's gonna highlight the shine and introduce this absolutely lavish green color that reminds me of emeralds. And I know some of you guys will disagree with my choice of organizing the colors, but either Either way, you guys are entitled to your opinion and you can make anything you want out of this. You can use them or you can check out my other videos. I do have tons and tons of other tutorials. Like I said, I'm going to throw a playlist in the description if you guys want to see more types of colors and this kind of thing. And the tires, neons and smoke is all optional. But then again, leave a like if you've enjoyed. And if you guys would like more from the series, subscribe if you haven't already. There's definitely going to be a lot of cool stuff coming out of my channel and you're not going to want to miss it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.